Ever since the first time I flew in an airplane, all I've ever wanted to do is jump out of one. And I finally did it. And we're about to talk about it. Coming up next. The gnats are like crazy right now. And what is going on YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza and this is your sister Kat. You can say welcome back and uh, not Feliz Navidad's. I don't know why I was going to say Feliz Navidad's, but sister Kat's back in the video. A lot's been going on in life, this, that, and the other. But this video right here is going to be our reaction video to... Reza's skydiving jump. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, I've been wanting to see that. I wouldn't be wanting to do this for a long time. And my wife finally um, surprised me with the skydiving ticket. Uh, for Father's Day, but because of, you know, baby showers and uh, pregnancies and stuff like that and flaky friends, <laughs> we uh, had you to postpone the are. trip. But now we have finally gone and done it. And it was, uh, boy, it was a great experience. So we're going to watch this video together and I'm going to, this is my first time seeing how I reacted to skydiving and we're going to all watch this together and we're going to see how so this hilarious this is. wasn't recorded by us, just so you guys know. Yes. This is came with a jump and I wanted to make sure we have the memories of the very first jump of his. So, uh, yeah, don't mind maybe some edits. <laughs> it's probably going to look kind of weird. You know, but, but, uh, all right, so here's the introduction. <laughs> Looks weird. Um, <laughs> all right. So the uh, jump instructor actually shot this video on a little GoPro that was mounted to his wrist. Uh, he had a altimeter on this hand and then he had a GoPro on the other hand and he was walking around catching little side shots of me um, doing stuff. And as in, in normal fashion, I'm recording him recording me because I'm always recording and taking pictures of everything. So right now I'm talking to him. I'm like asking him, do you ever get bored of all this jumping? And he was basically like, no, this is awesome. I like to do this every day. I did notice that the airplane had a uh, South African flag on the bottom of it, which I thought that was like, I was kind of wondering why that or where this airplane came from. Maybe South Africa, I don't know. I did not do any uh, research on what it was needed or what was appropriate attire or what you should wear when skydiving. I was gonna wear my Doc Martens, but I was like, man, what if they get stuck to the airplane and the airplane is dragging me along to the sky? So I didn't rock that. All right, so at this point, the windows, uh, the door was open, I think, and somebody had just jumped out or was about to jump out. And when I saw that door open, and I, you know, we were probably at like, what, 7,000 feet oh or something. And it was like, okay, this is really going down. And when I saw the first guy fly out that window, oh, man. That plane is tiny. All right, I think we're about to go, y'all. I, I, oh, I turned my heart rate monitor on too, and I was like, my average heart rate was actually 112 beats per minute. So I wasn't like super, super like crazy, like, you know, nervous or anything like that. I was just trying so to do everything slid. right. Yeah, so we just slid for it. It was hard for me to remember this part after it happened because it happened so quick. Oh, All right, I this, see. So you guys sit This on is where my bench. legs are dangling, and now he's counting me down. And you my face went. was like, whoa. <laughs> and you go from like zero to 100 so fast. Like, and then I, I felt when these buckles hit me in the head too at uh. one point. I think when we were tumbling out of the airplane. But this is the part where my brain really realized like, oh, wow. I like probably won't die. <laughs> okay, now this part is when you actually like, when, once you start going into free wow. fall and you are hitting terminal velocity, you, you, you don't really panic. It just feels like normal. But then when you have that like sudden speed change again from like falling to like coasting with the uh, parachute, it's like that like, like I guess like massive deceleration. It's like, oh my God, that was a lot of deceleration. And I wonder like, I know you go from like 120 to I don't know what, I don't know what the speed of is of a falling parachute. That's a good question, what is the but speed? But it's a very, very quick acceleration and a really fast uh, slowdown. So it really like, you, you know, yeah. You just feel the speed. Wow, so you now you're just guys cruising down. Yeah, now at this point right here, high. I was like, we were talking about the weather and we were talking about all the clouds. And um, there were a bunch of storm clouds when I jumped. So I didn't even think I was going to actually be able to jump because these clouds mm -hmm. were coming in really fast. But apparently they uh, keep letting you jump until there's a... Storm or something? Yeah, a storm or lightning. Um, uh, what do they call it? Hazard. Well, luckily there this was no... This is when we were turning. Now, when we were turning uh -huh. like that... 
it was a pretty decent amount of G-forces. It felt like, I mean, I, I don't know, because I didn't have a uh, G-force G monitor on me, but I could definitely feel the G's in my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Well, yeah, I was going to say, again. they probably let you jump also because there was no heavy winds and no rain. The clouds mm -hmm. were there, so. You guys just like flying around having a normal yeah, conversation. Yeah, we're just talking. Like, I mean, at nothing. this point, like, you know. The, Could you hear each other well? Oh, yeah. Like, you not only can you breathe when you're falling at 120 miles per hour, you can breathe, you can talk, like, everything. Like, you can't really hear that good because the wind's rushing through you, but you can still talk, and it's just like all your senses and everything work, like. Wow. It's not like you had to gas for oxygen or anything. Oh, I was cold. Mm -hmm. I forgot to mention that. When I when we were going up to 10,000 feet or 10.5 or whatever it was, oh, it fast forwarded. It didn't show the landing. Mm -mm. He probably had to concentrate Why on the did landing. Do that? Well, Make we can, sure I can, land your we, can right. we can overlay the landing like right around here at some point and you can see what the landing was like, but we nailed the landing. The landing was like I mean, it was about as perfect as possible. I mean, at this point, there's nothing else to really see because we're just talking. Yeah. I mean, usually so they land on their part. butt, kind of, and they still landed on their feet pretty much, yeah. just perfectly. So I didn't want to get dirty, and I didn't want to mess up my shoes and all that kind of, of stuff. So I'm th And I, I wanted to follow all the instructions to a T. So he was like, yeah, when we get close into land, I'm going to ask you to raise your legs up, and then we're going to try to come in soft and land. And I literally just saw my instructor tumble with somebody else right before yep. uh, I went. So I was like, you know what? I want to make sure that I do this and I do it right. So when I when he told me, I raised my legs up, and then we came in, and boom, we both planted. Well, he planted first, and then I planted. It was a perfect landing. And uh, yeah, it was a um, it was an epic experience. Like I highly, highly, highly recommend it for anyone else. Would I do it again, or would I try to become a professional skydiver? I think if it was convenient, I would. But I looked at skydiving gear today, today, and um, I knew he was gonna do it's, that. It's really expensive, and I think I might already have one too many hobbies. Like. I knew he was going to do the research on the gear and stuff and how much does it cost because there was just no way. Because <laughs> when he jumped and finally he came to us and me and Sonia was just there like, hey, how was it? And this and that. He was so excited and I think the adrenaline was still rushing through his head and everything. And he was just going on and on. I'm like, oh, Lord, we might have to figure out how to get to this skydiving school now. <laughs> it is like the, the adrenaline high that you get. I don't think there's anything else on Earth that can replicate that level of high because it's just it's so intense. And yeah, I, there's no way to describe it. Like unless somebody has actually jumped, I can't really explain what jumping is mm -hmm. like because it's such a unique experience. It's nothing like being in an airplane. It's nothing like being in a roller coaster. It's nothing like, you know, driving a fast car on a racetrack. It's nothing like scuba diving. It's a very, very unique experience on its own. And I think everybody should try to do it at least once and see if you like it, love it, or hate it. Yeah. Do you think you're going to like it if you do it? I think I'm going to like it. I just have to, you know, unload before I unload off the plane. Because <laughs> they kind of frown upon the three people jumping instead of two people jumping. <laughs> two and one. Two and one, yeah. Unless it's tandem. <laughs> exactly so but yeah i definitely want to, i've been wanting to jump since i was in high school i just never got a chance and i had friends who jumped i had friends who were in the military back in ukraine who jumped in the military and everybody loved it so um i definitely am going to jump at least once to see if i like it or not i do think i am gonna like it I'm pretty sure it's going to be terrifying just to fall out of the airplane at the first. That's really the only part that's scary, though. Like, once you get past that, like, looking down, and you're like, oh, my God, I'm about to do this. And then once you get out the door, it's not bad. It's just, like, going from sitting in your seat <laughs> to yeah, being I like, think, I think that's the part that I'm like, I can see myself being like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> sure, but at that point, I mean, you're there, so. Yeah. There's no way, to, you know, no other way to go, and you're not jumping by yourself, obviously. And you don't want to ride the airplane down. That's like walking down a mountain when you're snowboarding. It's like. No, I would, if, if I'm going to be that scared, I'll just close my eyes and say, okay, just push me out so I don't yeah. see it. That's all it's going to be. Exactly. And then I'll open my eyes later, but I'm definitely going to jump for sure. But it was an awesome experience. I'm glad that I finally got to do it. And I got to say thank you so much to my <laughs> wife for hooking me up with the uh, opportunity of a lifetime to do something that I've always wanted to do. We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that. And uh, yeah, I don't know anything about um, skydiving, and that was on purpose because I wanted this to be a complete new experience for me. 
because typically I go in the YouTubes and I like know everything about everything before I do something. All right, y'all. We'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. Hopefully that thing didn't stop recording. Nah.